All right, today we're going to make this pen blank right here. Okay guys, today we're gonna have a little bit of a fun project, I think, uh, at least it's gonna be fun for me. Um, oh, I've got me some of these silicon um, ice cube trays, and they're actually the same size as pin blanks. And they sell them on Amazon, there's links below. And then she also got me an assortment of uh, colors here, and I also got some assortment of colors here for uh, resin mixing. So today, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try out these silicon uh, molds here. And I have some burl wood from my friend Larry, which of course he's going to be a recipient of at least one of these blanks when I'm done. And um, I have them set up here and I'm going to pour different colors. I have a uh, purple and red, which I'm going to use. I'm going to mix together in a couple of these. And I have a dark scarlet that I'm going to put in this one. And in that dark scarlet, I'm going to put some glitter here uh, inside to see how that looks. And then um, I have uh, another green black C it's called, which is gonna go on this one here. So I'm gonna mix up my resin, which I have actually sitting down here on the floor in front of the heater here. I got a heater over here and uh, I'm warming that up because it's kind of cold out here in the shop. So I get that a little warmed up. I'm gonna mix that up, uh, pour that into each one of these and go ahead and uh, Pour out these blanks, put them in a pressure pot overnight, and we'll check it out tomorrow morning and see how see how they look. But uh, I think this this might be kind of fun and uh, a, kind of a cool project. So let's try it out. Oh shoot! Funny I was debating whether I should put down this paper. Uh -huh. I'm glad I did now. Something to put across there, John, to weight that down. Hmm. So I think I'm gonna have to glue them down. So I think these are the first two that I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna do these two. And we'll do these two later on, because it's my first time. So. All right guys, so here we are next morning. Got the pressure pot here. It's been uh, up to 40 pounds all night. Go ahead and let all the air out and let's see if I can get this thing open. A little bit still wet. Let's see how they look. Oh, 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 that doesn't look bad at all. As a matter of fact, it looks pretty darn good. But man, these look awesome. Glitter tend to go down to the bottom. Well, no, actually it didn't because it was on that color, so. But um, yeah, these are looking really good for pen blanks. Man, I gotta try, I gotta pour another one today now. These, these are pretty cool looking. All right, so I'll get some close-up shots of these so that you can look at them. And um, I guess I will go ahead and pour some more. And this time, uh, I've seen other people use um, hot glue to hold stuff down. So I'll see if hot glue, I don't know how well hot glue will stick to this, but maybe it'll stick well enough to keep it down. So I'm gonna try, I'll try that and see how that works on these next bunch here. Cause I have these two here to do. So I'm gonna try them out and see if I can get the hot glue to hold them in place and uh, pour those. But these look awesome. These look pretty cool. So we'll try that out. And uh, the gentleman who gave me these wood, this wood, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give him this green one. He likes the green color pins. So I'm gonna give him this one to turn, I think. I think you'll like that. All right, so there you go. Uh, that actually uh, worked pretty good for my first time in making a mess. Uh, I still ended up with some nice looking pin blanks.
I'm really happy how this pen blank came out. Uh, pouring the epoxy and doing this really was quite simple. And uh, you can create some unusual pens with it. So I'm definitely gonna be doing more of these and I hope that you subscribe to the channel so that you can see all the different blanks that I'm gonna make and I'm gonna show you how to make them as I make them and all the stuff that I use. And again, if you're looking to create this pen, all the stuff I used is down below.